So here we go. Take a look at number six. Uh, we were given, and also I want to do this one just so we can practice for tomorrow. Okay, I get, you're going to have four proofs tomorrow, five points each, right? That's half the test, four proofs, five points each. When you go to tackle one of these proofs, look at the givens first. Uh, everyone see that keyword there, midpoint? Okay, so if I see midpoint tomorrow, the first thing I'm thinking is, ooh, maybe halves of equal quantities are equal. And we know if I'm going to use halves of equal quantities or equal, how many angles or sides need to get bisected or cut in half? Two. How many are getting cut in half here? Just one. So automatically halves of equal quantities out the window. But I still have to use the fact that F is the midpoint of BC. How can I use that in this diagram? If you know F is the midpoint of BC, what can you conclude now? Go ahead, Amy. BF and FC have to be congruent. Again, notice I'm not saying anything about halves. There's no need to. Definition of a midpoint. All right, I talked a lot about this yesterday. This is the second time now we're talking about it, and that's the fact of how many substitutions do I need? Well, here's your answer. Ready? How many equal quantities do I have right now? I got the two in the given and one I just wrote. So I have three total, right? So I'm trying to show you guys that because you have three equal quantities, one substitution will not get to your proof statement. It's not going to happen. All right? Take two at a time. Ready? Let's look. Ready? Let's look at the first two. DB and BF, CE and CF. Do you see any line segments that repeat? Neither do I. So I'm telling you that you can't use substitution on these two. It's not going to happen. You don't have any line segments that repeat. But, ready? DB and BF, BF and FC. Do you see the two line segments that repeat there? So I can use substitution on those two only. I'm not bringing in the third one yet. Only on those two. So if you have DB and BF, BF and FC, which two segments will be congruent? DB congruent to FC, and there is one substitution. Now, you did not have to start off the proof this way. You could have said those two, because everyone see how CF is in, I'm sorry. You could use those two, because everyone see how you had CF? So instead of the two I picked, you could have used those two and come up with a different statement, which would have been correct. All right, let's move now. What do you always know about your givens? You're going to use all of them. And I have not used one of them yet. And that's this one right here. With my statement that I just previously written. What line segment repeats here? CE and CF, DB and FC. Which line segment repeats? CF or FC. So that me must mean which two line segments are going to be equal. CE and DB congruent. And that is a second substitution. And look at that. That is what I needed to prove congruent. All right. Are you guys okay now? There. Anything at all? There we go. All right. Is there any of the... I checked a lot of them yesterday. I don't know how many I got to and... Are there any that, I'll go over the algebra one in a minute. Are there any you want to hear what should I add in my proof just to make sure or just add a general question on here? Here we go, Cameron. A question on there? Yeah. Okay. For the third step. Ooh, how about the second step? For How about the second step? To, to say what? Okay, you got me there. Okay, well, uh, let me do it. Let me do this like we're going to, like we're tomorrow already. What did you say your second statement was? Angle. Okay. Okay. So here's what you've told me so far. You've, you, you knew the fact that this was a straight line, so that's where that came from. But you have not used this given. Okay? Look at your proof statement. What two angles are you trying to prove congruent? Ready? Look at these two statements. What do you know about angle two? And what do you know about angle one? 
So you are telling me that both one and angle two are both supplementary to the same angle? Do we have a theorem? What happens if two angles are supplementary to the same angle? They must be congruent. So there's your third and final step. Yes, Sean. And is your reason linear pairs are supplementary? Yep. I, I, it's right. Yeah, that's fine. Nope. More? Anything else before we get to this algebra one that you want to say, hey, what steps should I have had? I didn't, I couldn't figure out what to write here. Now's your time to ask here from the homework before I get into the algebra part. Nothing at all. Okay, let's go to those algebra questions then. Oh, just one question, number seven. And this is this is my fault. I'll take the bad on this part. I should have told you FAB was a straight line and CDE was a straight line. I should have told you that. All right, because you can't really. I, I tell you guys never to assume, but if I hey, just so you guys know, if I give you this, do we all realize I'm telling you in words, in symbolic form, that that's a straight line? Okay, so I should have given you that, and I should have given you this to say it was a straight line. Okay, good. All right, so what did we get for angle two? Angle one was 70, so angle two must have been 70. Substitution, congruent angles are, you know, are congruent, but probably substitution there. Uh, what about FAB, now that we know it's a straight line? 180, how about angle three? Buck 10, supplement, linear pairs are supplementary. And then how about CDE? 180 and then angle four, buck 10, linear pairs are supplementary. Okay. Yes, sir. That's fine. Yeah. Anybody else? Okay, quickly, let's talk about tomorrow and what to expect. That's what we're looking at, 13 questions, 41 points. First page is all multiple choice where it's what postulate am I using? Like the first three questions on your quiz I just handed back. Algebra with angles, we have been working and working. It's every night I think I've given you some algebra, all right, to do with angles and segments. Uh, Justify your answer now. I'm glad Sean just asked his question. When I when you explain to me tomorrow, do not think you need some fancy theorem on your sheet. All I want is, for example, let's say you do this tomorrow. 3x plus 2x plus 4 equals 180. In your justification, I want to know, why'd you set it equal to 180? Why didn't you set it equal to 90? I want to know what's going through your head while you write that down. So I'm looking for your thoughts tomorrow, all right? Don't think you need some big fancy statements, reasons, some of those theorems or postulates. You do not. I want to know just, hey, why'd you set it equal to 180? Why did you set, maybe you do this instead. Well, why'd you set them equal to each other then? All right, tell me what you know, all right? And then, like I said, four proofs, five points each. You will be getting, I'll show it to you right now. You will be getting the sheet I talked about. There it is right there. It's got all those on there for you. Okay, we talked yesterday, remember, the only time you should use this sheet is if you want to get the wording correct or the spelling correct. If you're looking at this and saying, you know what? If I put this in my proof, that's going to make me, that's going to make me sound pretty smart. I might get some credit for that. No. Okay. It's, it's lost by that time. All right, game over by that time. Okay, so spelling and making sure you get the wording right. So you'll get this tomorrow as you walk in. Okay. Can I answer any of your questions right now before you go to work on your own? As soon as you come in, just like any other test we've had, the one test we've had this year, you'll get it as soon as you walk in the door. Okay. Questions, comments? Uh, before I let you go, just so you know what you have available to you, if you go to page 40 of your packet, that's where the review starts. Uh, and like unit, excuse me, like unit one, if you go to the back of your packet, the answers are there. 
Now, I will just say, just warn everybody, you may do this differently than I did it. That's fine. Remember, there's multiple ways of doing many of the proofs. If you want me to take a look at your proof and say, hey, I did it this way, but your answer key says this, call me over. I'll just make sure it's correct. All right, questions, comments, any concerns before you get going? Okay, move around if you want, work with anybody you want, but let's just keep this grinding, keep your phones away till 1143.